Wife's been dropped off at work, kids are at school, got a bit of time off and whatnot, so I thought I would come out for a bit of a walk and have a little look around. I've came to Tamfield Railway here today. Just gonna have a little if I see somebody I'll catch them and we'll have a bit of chat, like you know, I, uh, it's just to get out for a little bit. It's pretty cold outside at the moment. I'm not really dressed for it, it was a bit of a last minute thing. But I'm gonna go and have a look around and, and see what's there and that and get a bit of footage. So it's a video to put up for people and if you're local come down have a look you know or, or even if you're traveling from further afield there might be something that um, you want to come and have a look at they do run a steam train up and down these tracks here at Tamfield don't know too much about it so I'm here to find out a little bit about what the, what they do here but uh, it's a bit of a miserable day a bit cold I left the house it was minus one when I left the house this morning um, over here it doesn't seem too bad according to the car it reckons is around about like one, one and a half degrees at the moment but the forecast for a number weather warning, snow and um, then freezing to ice later on this year, maybe this afternoon it's supposed to freeze right over so don't want to be here too long because this is about 15-20 minutes maybe it's a little bit longer away from uh, where I live so I don't want to be here all day if, that's, if it starts to snow I'm packing up and I'm away like you know um, but yeah, so we're going to have a look around, see what we can see. As I said, if we see somebody, we'll speak them. If not, we're here. All right, so I'm going to knock you off. I'm going to see what's there, and we'll get some footage on the go. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Right then, guys. So I've taken a little walk down to one of the train platforms there in the background, as you can see. This is actually, at this point, a replica the information setup of I thought I knew. Wasn't correct. Railway. It's not a replica. I believe this goes to it's the actually an old railway, but you'll see in the video later on after having a chat with one of the volunteers, he gives the information, the and, and, and the information obviously board, I find out exactly what it's about. So this part here, it's a little bit sketchy when it comes to the accuracy of different nice. things. So, really but just watch the footage actually, um, and just enjoy the series. To be fair, some of the stations and um, the little the little things like the signs as well, like the old the old signs with the the with the marble sort of reflection in it is pretty pretty good I'll turn around to show you some of the things that they've got so as you can see there's some of the water feed for one of the trains but this this is actually one of the uh, the stations here now but it seems it's the cobble, cobble road leading down to the station and quietly uh, signposted this is actually called station road but this actually the platform that we're at at the moment is actually called Andrew's House. So I'm not sure, I haven't read yet, but I'm not sure if this is actually a setup of an actual station that was called Andrew's House or is this always stood here? I'm not too sure. All I'm, I'm here to just have a look around, just see what's what. But um, there we go. And they've even got like the lighting. Pretty, pretty cool to be fair. It's like stepping back in time, you know, like all the little sort of quirks that they've got. Like, even inside some of the buildings, I don't know if you can see it's quite dark, I haven't got a light, but they've got like milk trains and things like that, and old uh, luggage, as you can see through here, and the old barrows and whatnot. And as I said, this is all working, but in fact, this actual, you can walk along these tracks as a path that goes to side it. And this also connects in with a place called the Cozy Arch. And you can actually walk along the top of that and see what's what. But it's really nice. It's quite, quite good. It's a, as I said before, it's cold today, but 
I'm going to have a walk on the other side. I mean, I believe there's no trains working as of such today, but, um, you know, we'll have a look. It looks like a great place to bring the family, to be fair. You know, my little one would love this, especially steam trains, you know. But even the bridge that I've taken a couple of photos that I've, I've probably put on before now, actually, on the video, but it was from the top of this little bridge, this little large bridge down there. And one of the things that I think is cool, or that I believe would be cool, is if you stand on top of that and the steam train's going underneath you, the steam that'll come over the top of the bridge, it'd be pretty pretty good. The little one would, well, even my oldest would like that as well, like, you know. I, I mean, I have actually seen the steam trains running along these tracks because of the road on the other side of the of the railway here. Um, but I've not actually been down here and seen them in action. And it looks like today I'm not going to be able to see them in action as well, so <laughs> bit of a waste of the journey really. But not really, we're here to have a look and see what it's all about. Um, actually have a little in-depth walk around, you know. Maybe we might have a speak, because I've got some workshops on the other side of this hill. And there's quite a few cars parked outside, so I'm taking it that there's people in there doing something. I might actually grab one of them and actually have a chat to see what it is that they've got going. But I'm going to knock you off because I'm going to walk over there and I'm a fat lad and I'm getting out of breath, so... <laughs> I'll see you in a second. So we're on the other side from the station, which I believe is the stores or somewhere where they do the restoration on the trains. But I've come across this part of it. It's like a cemetery for old steam engines and bits of mechanical engineering but i mean it's amazing just to look at i mean like look at, if you look at this boiler here look at all the rivets they would have been hand riveted but this is nice just to come walking down here to be up close to these you know it's pretty cool like there's no carriage there. You know? It is. I mean, I'm not sure if you're supposed to be over this side. I couldn't see anybody about to ask, but I'm taking it that as long as that you're respectful. You respect your surroundings, I shouldn't say. Why not? And be safe as well, because as I said, there's a lot of things here that can. Like there's one of the look at that. That's to be restored. It's pretty strange, like, you know, it's quite quiet and a bit eerie. <laughs> it's like these trains have came here at the end of their life. Well. Absolutely amazing. But this is just on my doorstep to be fair. And anybody that's from County Durham, Gateshead, Newcastle area, this isn't far at all. It's pretty much centred to all those places. So if you fancy just having a little walk out and having a look around. I believe these places are very family friendly as well and I believe that dogs as well as long as you pick up after yourself and you know or you keep the dog on the lead I couldn't see why you couldn't just have a walk around here in your spare time there's a little there's an awful overflow car park park on the other side of the road from here that's open 24 7 that car park and actually that what runs through here is actually a public footpath so if this was closed you could still walk through here it's still you can still access through here you know because these are all like little footpaths that go all the way through here i mean i'm going to head back this way because it looks a little bit boggy that way like but these are just just amazing just to look at some of the some of this let's just say behind the scenes you don't often get to see this sort of thing you know 
but it's pretty pretty cool. Just had a word with one of the gentlemen that uh, volunteer here because I think it's made up of all volunteers. He was talking about there's actually two railway lines here. There's one railway line which is behind us, which is this one here. And then the one that I showed you which goes past the station. Uh, he says it was in the 1700s was that um, that railway. He says that basically that started off with horse drawn in carts, so it would be like a horse strapped to the front of a bogey, up and down there. And then he says it developed on this one behind us, which was all coal driven. Um, and what these lines were actually for was to transport the coal from the pits that are all around here in the northeast to the River Tyne. And then from the Tyne, they would be put on a barge, and then on a barge, the coal would be taken down to London and it'd be used for heating. Um, he didn't have enough time to, to come on video. They're quite busy. Uh, they're doing a lot of restoration projects. He did mention that the part that we walked through with all the old engines and whatnot, he did say that that was engines that they wanted to preserve, they wanted to keep, they might not restore them, but this is part of our North East heritage and that they wanted to keep these things from just getting destroyed and chucked in the bin basically. But there's a lot of information here and if you come down at the right time I'm sure there'll be people here that will be able to give you a lot more information than what I can. I do believe that it's a voluntary organisation, it's all made up with volunteers. And I do believe that they do have a workshop group where people can come down and maybe join the volunteer group. Sorry about the wind noise here. Basically what I'm explaining is that if you want to become a volunteer, then you can do so and you can help out in the workshops with a bit of the restoration work that they do, that they, they do here. But I've enjoyed having a walk around the day though. I've seen there's not much going on because it's half nine on a Tuesday morning. As I said, the guys are really busy. I don't want to take them away. In fact, actually, we might just capture, there's just a diesel engine coming out there down there. I don't know if you can see it on video. No, that's a diesel engine that's here. A diesel engine. Uh, that's a diesel engine that one. That. quite impressed there's a lot going on here today like with the workmen and whatnot so that's it but uh, right well I've had fun I've just had a quick walk around I'm absolutely freezing now I'm gonna go up my mum and dad's and get a coffee <laughs> but uh, keep on wondering I'll see you in the next one cheers